consecutive numbers. Now consecutive numbers are three numbers in a row. That is three counting numbers or three integers. So that would be like three, four, five, or negative three, negative four, negative five, as long as they're in a row, whether they're positive or negative, they are consecutive numbers. Now with word problems where they're asking you what three consecutive numbers are, you have to build it in this fashion. The first number will be x, the second number will be x plus one not x plus two. When you hear second number, you want to say x plus two, equating second with two. But no, it's x plus one. And the same thing is true for the third consecutive number. It's going to be x plus two. You hear third, you want to say x plus three. Don't do that. So it's x, x plus one, x plus two. And that would be three, consecutive numbers or three consecutive integers. Now we could build this with four consecutive integers and as you might guess, the fourth one would be x plus three and you can go on. They can ask you for five consecutive numbers. They usually don't in algebra one. In algebra one, they usually ask for three consecutive integers, but just so you know, that is the way they request the information. The sum of three consecutive integers is 93. What are the integers? So like I told you, three, four, five is an example of three consecutive integers, but they didn't tell us what they were. And since they didn't tell us what the integers were, what is the first integer? That's right, it's x. And I put x in parentheses, you don't have to, but sometimes we need the parentheses when they're asking us to subtract one integer from another, like they're asking us to subtract the second integer from the third integer or something like that. But anyways, this is a pretty simple problem. We're not gonna need the parentheses, but I like to get in the habit of doing that. Now, what's the second integer? That's right, if you were taking notes or you have a good memory, you know that the second integer is x plus one. So what do we have now? We have two integers. We have x plus x plus one. And what's the third integer? That's right, it's x plus two. And so you can see we start with x, add a one to the second, add a two to the third. And they said the sum of three consecutive integers, which means we're going to add the three integers together. And it is, equal sign, is means equal sign, 93. Okay, we have quite a few like terms to add here. So let's bring everything out of parentheses. And since there was a positive sign in front of all those parentheses, we're not gonna change the signs of anything. We're just gonna bring them right out of the parentheses. And let's start adding like terms. Well, we have units of one and two which equals three. And how many x's do we have? Let's see, we have one, two, three. We have three x's, so what's that gonna equal? Three x's is three x. So now we have something that's pretty simple to deal with. Let's move that three over. Bring everything down. Divide everything by three. And that will isolate our x. x equals 90 over three or 30, x equals 30, and that is our answer, right? Wrong. They did not ask you what x equals. What did they ask you? Go back and read the question. As a matter of fact, every time you solve for a word problem, go back and read the question. They asked you, what are the integers? Plural, what are the integers? How many did they tell us about? They told us about three. So what is the first integer? Well, the first integer was x. What was the second integer? That's right, the second integer was x plus one. What is x plus one? Well, 30 plus one is 31. And what is the third integer? The third integer was x plus two. 30 plus two is 32. 
and those are our three integers. And as you can see, the three integers are counting numbers. That is, they're right in a row, 30, 31, 32. So those numbers are consecutive, and that is our answer. The answer to this question is the integers are 30, comma, 31, and 32. Let's do something a little bit more complicated. Our next problems have to do with consecutive odd and consecutive even integers. Consecutive even integers are going to be x. The first one is always x. The second one is x plus 2. And the third one is x plus 4. Well, that makes sense if we're talking about, let's say, 4, 6, and 8. The first one would be 4, the next one would be 4 plus 2, which is 6, and the third one would be 4 plus 4, which is 8. But what about odd integers? They're the same. Now you would think it'd be x plus 1, x plus 3, x plus 5, it's not, or x plus 3, x plus 5, x plus 7, or some nonsense like that. No. Odd integers and even integers are the same. The first one is x, the second one is x plus 2, and the third one is x plus 4. So let's take the example of three consecutive odd integers, 3, 5, and 7. Now, if the first one is x, x equals 3, the second one is 3 plus 2, 5, and the third one is x plus 4. That would be 3 plus 4 is 7. So that makes sense. So let's work with this problem. We're going to skip the problems of even integers. We don't need to do even and odd since they work in the same way. But I'm going to give you a problem of odd integers because people will fall back into old bad habits. Even and odd are the same. Find three consecutive odd integers so that the sum of twice the first, the second, and three times the third is 152. Okay, so we have three consecutive odd integers, which is x, x plus 2, and x plus 4. And the first one is x and it said twice x, so that'd be 2 times x. It said the sum, so we're going to add these. And the next one we're going to add is the second one. The second odd integer is x plus 2. The next integer we're going to add is the third one, which is x plus 4. And it said 3 times the third one. And it said the sum of these is is equal sign 152 and that is our equation. Now let's start bringing things out of the parentheses by distributing them. 2 times x is 2x and there's nothing to distribute here so let's just take off the parentheses and 3 times the last term is going to be 3 times x and 3 times 4. Don't forget to multiply times all the terms in the parentheses or both terms in the parentheses. And that will give us 3x plus 12. And so now we have everything pulled out of the parentheses. Let's add like terms. Let's add the units first. And our units are 2 and 12. That would be 14. And let's add all our x's. Let's see, 2x plus x is 3x. 3x plus 3x is 6x. So 6x plus 14 equals 152. And let's move that over to the left a little bit, or this problem is going to get in the way of my head, or my head is going to get in the way of this problem. 
there you go that's better for you and that's better for me and we need to bring that 14 over so let's bring everything down divide both sides by 6 which will isolate our x x equals 138 over 6 which is 23 and x equals 23 and that is our answer okay okay you caught me this time you went back and you read the question and you know they didn't ask what x equals we know that the first integer is 23 and the second integer is x plus 2 which equals 25 and the third integer is x plus 4 23 plus 4 is 27 so our integers are 23 25 and 27 what was the question find three consecutive odd integers well these integers are consecutive in the sense that they are odd so they're odd they didn't come out even so that's good and that's what they are 23 25 and 27 and that is the answer to our second problem so you might want to try a few more of these problems homework is on the next page well it's not on the next page but homework is down below and we're going to do problems 9 through 15 and in the next video we're going to be dealing with geometry